Hello everyone, my name is Asperia K. Wagabaga. And thank you so much for always following your videos, a lot of things you have helped me to learn during this time. So we are going to learn something about uh, a virtuous woman. And we are going to the Bible, into the book of Proverbs, chapter 31. You know, every woman wants to be called virtuous, a woman of higher moral standards. And the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 10, it says, Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. A virtuous woman, the Bible says, her price is far above rubies. It is high. The word virtuous woman means a woman with higher moral standards. Omcharanga in Empisa is a sukuluma kubane, a singer ko kumpisa. So, the Bible says, who can find this woman? Do you want to be one of these rare women that the Bible talks about? The Bible says in verse 11 that the heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. Does your husband trust you? You know, it takes a lot to trust someone and there is a saying which goes that once trust is broken, it is very hard to be mended. So, as you strive to be a virtuous woman, you must be in position to be trusted. What do you do when your husband is not around? What do you think when your husband is not around? Or what are those things that you are doing behind his back? Are you among these ladies that go along, that chat with other men and they read those messages and they have their secret romantic messages that they send to other men and your husband is not aware? Maybe one day he's going to get you and you think it is not going to affect your level of trust. A virtuous woman is a trustable woman. The heart of her husband trusts her. So even if the husband is away, he's not caring about who is sleeping with my wife, who is buying this for my wife. He's not bothered about that. He's not worried of anything because he trusts in you. And for someone to trust in you, it means you have gone through some tests and it has come to be proved that you are trusted. So, a virtuous woman is trusted. The Bible continues to say that she will do him good, not evil, all the days of her life. You know, women, sometimes we are so, so, I don't know how to call it, over we are mean, or we are what? We are fearing commitment, you know. But the virtuous woman is a committed woman, so she does good to her husband for all the days of her life. What are you doing for your husband? Are you doing good or you're doing evil? You know, some of us, we want to go back and start speaking ill against our own husbands. You know that man? He's very bad. He's not even qualified to be called a man. But when you come to bed, you'll be like, sweetheart, you know, I love you. Uh, sister, if God came to your bed, would you be really speaking the truth? So a virtuous woman is a woman that is trusted and she does good to her husband. Now you're going to ask me, how can I do good to a husband yet for him? He's busy cheating on me. He's doing bad things. The Bible says, do good to your husband. They don't say here that you, she does good to a good husband. They say that she will do him good, not evil, all the days of her life. So, they are not giving you condition that you must do good only when your husband does good, that you must do good to a husband who is this and is not drunk. If you chose that husband who drinks alcohol, you should do him good. Yes, because you are the one who chose him. You made a commitment to love him in goodness, in bad, in sorrow, in pain. You did that before God. So, you must be in position to do good to your husband regardless of whatever cost it is going to come your way. So a virtuous woman is a trusted woman. She does good to her husband all the days of her life. She's unlimited. She does great. You know, there are a lot of things that a virtuous woman does. But these two that we have shared are among the many, the majority. So we can continue learning about this woman. Strive to be this woman. She has higher moral standards. 
But I'm going to summarize in uh, verse 30. says that favor is deceitful, uh, beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. So you can be very beautiful, you can be well favored by everyone, your husband, everyone. But if you don't fear God, you are not a virtuous woman. What makes you a virtuous woman begins with your fear of God. If you don't fear God, you are not virtuous and you can never even be a quarter of that woman with higher moral standards. It begins with a fear of God. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 7 says, The fear of God is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction so you cannot fear god unless you give your life to jesus christ how can you fear someone you don't believe how can you fear someone you have not surrendered your life to how can you say you fear god yet you don't love him the fear of god begins by loving him and loving him comes after you have submitted your dear life to him to be the lord and savior you know we were corrupted our minds were corrupted we were born in sin we were conceived as sinners so the day we came into this world we were already sinners because of our first parents so we inherited sin we were corrupted the only medicine to heal us from that sin to bring back our fellowship, our relationship with God, is if we shall submit our lives to Jesus Christ. If we shall humbly obey his word, listen to his word, and obey the gospel, and give our lives to Jesus Christ. The fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. To be virtuous, you must be a child of God. You must fear God first. We can continue to learn about this virtuous woman. But my sister, I will encourage you today to submit your life to Jesus Christ. Call upon him to come and save you from that sin that you inherited from Adam. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for viewing this video. I pray that God blesses you.